All right, guys, today is November the 7th. Out on the trap line again this morning. Beautiful day. Wind is supposed to pick up now around dinner time and gust to 70 kilometers again. So, uh, up here today now, checking a few fox nears one thing the other. Just going on what I call the shoreline set. Right along there with low tide water, it's real deep mud there. So, there's only one little narrow channel through this bank here. So, I set up a snare. And lo and behold, it connected. Nice little red. Yes, sir. You can see there's not much room there between the beach. Real deep mud. Hard bank. All a bit. So there's only one way for him to go. So we got him. Put him down quick. You see, he only just got in the snare, wrapped around that tree a couple times, and that's it, lights out. Kind of dirty, a bit muddy air, but I'll wash the pelt and he'll wash up good. So, anyhow, nice little red. Nothing tore up here, too bad. So, uh, get him out of the snare, reset the snare, and uh, hopefully another one comes through. 116 cable. That's why the use of a good lock is real important. Puts them down fast, doesn't tear up your set. So, Anyhow, we'll carry on and uh, hope for the best. Alrighty, still carrying on on the trap line here. And uh, the other day I was through here and I showed you this little spot where the leaves are all wore away. And I set the trap up in the hole there. Looks like we score there again. Under this mink. Yes, sir. Only a young one. But a young one is better than that one. Oh well, I set this trap up here again and uh, hopefully another one comes through. Alright guys, today is November 9th. We're on the trap line again this morning and uh, looks like I made another catch here. That's where the snare was set. See the snare running along there? And there he is. Looks like I got him by the paw though. So I'm going to take care of this guy. I don't want to give him a chance to get away. So we'll check in later. Alrighty, got the coyote out of the snare here now. As you can see I had him right by the tip of the toes there. A young dog. Male coyote. Yes, sir. -y. That was a good catch for today. Caught him on my uh, secret blend. I've had a lot of people ask me, do I use commercial lures? And I said, the answer is no. Uh, I think a lot of that is just made for to take money out of trappers' pockets. But I come up with a little formula of my own, and uh, I tell you, works deadly. Of course, it's top secret. Can't tell anybody that. May even patent it. Anyhow, we uh, carry on on the trap line and uh, see what else we can get. Alrighty, still carrying on the trap line here. And I got this submarine set here in this little channel. So let's pull her up and see if we made a catch. Well, yes, two in there. One there and one down there. Anyhow, we get these out, reset the trap. Leave it here for another little while. I'm not going to trap many rats this year. The price is way down on them. Something like a dollar fifty or something. So uh, just get a few for mink bait mainly. Probably won't sell the pellets. Just stick them in the fridge. Anyhow, we'll set this trap up again and uh, carry on. Alrighty, still carrying on on the trap line here. And uh, looks like we got one I'm prime weasel. <laughs> not targeting weasels, but if I get them, I get them. That's all you can do about it. 